Hello, hello, teacups. It's the real JT, and today we are going to be doing a craft at the Craftery and Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. This is a picture of the outside of their suite slash studio, and they had a nice sign for Mother's Day to just come and get your creativity going. I absolutely love the decor, the whole vibe in here. One unique thing about this space was the fact that they had crafts to go. So you could actually take crafts home and do them or throw your own craft party. There is a lot of noise as there's hammers going and people congregating and things like that. So that, that to me was a very special touch. And here's a quick glance at the drink menu. And here's my craft. And here they give you this pretty heavy tea bar that your plant hanger can hang from so you can braid and knot your rope together more easily. Very convenient. So in this bucket is everything I need for my craft. I have my hanger that will be attached to my rope. I have my cement sealant. I have a hanger that I will put on my hanger as I braid down to make it more simple. A sponge to put that cement seal in. Obviously the rope for the plant hanger and then my uh, cement bowl for my plant. So this is how it started out. I just had six pieces of string that I was going to have to uh, wind up, not braid. My friend, she's so silly. You've seen her hands. And this is the finished product. I did need a couple of tips and pointers from our host. She did an amazing job with um, helping me get the hang of it. Here, you'll see me sanding my cement plant pot. It did have a couple of rough edges and um, spaces that were a little uneven. So they give you sandpaper. It also helps with keeping the paint on. So I'm going to town, concentrating. And I wanted to do a darker base because I want to do vibrant Easter light colors, as you can see there. But I wanted it to still be subtle. So I just figured, hey, let's just see what happens. I did try to be pretty thorough with like getting the inner rim of the pot just to make sure everything was, was coated pretty good. Can you tell from that smile that I was having a really good time? Whenever me and my friends get together, it is always a hoot. So now we're gonna go ahead and start adding color. One of my most favorite colors, especially being a plant mom and a shopper is green. So I incorporated some green. I didn't have a clear idea or anything like that to do to this pot. I just knew that I wanted something subtle and vibrant. And here we are with my second favorite color, which is pink. And I'm just blotching that on. And now I have the blue, and I'm just trying to find little pockets left where the gray is to just save some space for my last two colors that I want to add to this pot. And next I have this coral color. I really, really love coral. It's really neck and neck with pink, honestly. And last but not least, I have yellow. So I just went ahead and tried to find what I could. I made the green blotches a little big, but I mean, green's my favorite color, so it is what it is. So I just tried to 
find as many tiny minute pieces that I could to just fill in blotches of that yellow but it turned out it turned out really nice and now I'm gonna go ahead and get that sponge to just blend while I was doing this it just kind of reminded me of like makeup I don't really wear any type of foundation but I watch a lot of videos that show people applying makeup and I just felt like I was blending 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 like makeup on this pot and I really like how it gave like a tie-dye Easter vibrant yet subtle look I, I just really I was happy with my finished product look at me going to town even on the rim can't forget the rim because that's what people see Yeah, and then right about here, I thought I was done, but then I seen I missed the spot. So, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I went ahead and applied some more blue and went back to town with blotching the rim of that pot. And there you have it, folks. That is a 360 view of my pot. But, yes, I added some flowers and some multicolored spots. I got a heart on there somewhere, which you'll see in the pictures coming up. I didn't want it to be too, too bland, but I love how that background came out. And I know I'm not a Picasso, but I think I did a pretty good job. And I know for a fact that if I can do it, you can too. There's my single heart and the finished product. I think it turned out so cute. Look at my little succulent. It's so healthy and so cute. And here's a little video. I cannot wait to hang this on my porch with my other plant hangers. Now I can make my own. And do you guys want to see a proud mama? There she goes. Yes, I love my plant hanger and my little pot. All in all, I would highly suggest you guys check out The Craftery. It was an amazing experience with my friends and I had so much fun. And here's their Google information if you guys wanna go check them out. Like and subscribe to The Real JT for more tips and adventures.